weather is not cooperating. It's the uh, first day of field work for 2019. We're getting some 28 on the wheat here uh, in our first field that we planted last fall. Uh, just getting, uh, for, uh, I guess, a single shot of 28 on it. Sometimes if we have a good spring, we'll do two shots. This year with the calendar and time, we're only gonna do one. So we're putting out about 46 gallons the acre right now, doing about uh, five and a half, or sorry, seven and a half mile an hour. Yeah, we're pushing boom pressure a little bit, but uh, there isn't really much wind, and I think we uh, need to hammer across some acres today. We're pretty fortunate. The wheat looks good around here, on well, this field anyways. This farm's tiled, which uh, gives us a lot of flexibility uh, so we can get out on it a little sooner. Uh, I guess we'll be doing some crop scouting from the seed of the sprayer too to see what we got for dead spots. But looking across the field right now, everything uh, looks really good uh, for this field and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, with that, I'm just gonna kind of pick away at 28 today and see uh, how many acres we can hammer off. Based on the camera, it looks like it takes about seven minutes, seven and a half minutes to fill the sprayer. It says it's got 856 gallons on it, but I think it's more like 900. I haven't calibrated the system yet. And I probably won't till uh, we get into water. I think I'll just kind of go off my old system and go from there, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to hammer down here and uh, keep going. Got the headlands done on this field. Uh, just give you an idea of what's going on inside the cab here. Um, as I said, running about seven and a half mile an hour. That's the uh, Pro 700 that does the rate control uh, work for the sprayer. Uh, that's the aim command system, but it's off right now because I'm not using it. Uh, I got climate uh, field view running in the cab here. I also have Farmer's Edge running too. You can't see it, but the cam plug's hitting back behind. Uh, I just had the puck from field view and I thought, what the heck, we might as well run it in the sprayer. I kind of like the visual picture it gives me uh, versus kind of this here on the Pro 700. Uh, that's kind of a lot nicer view of what's going on with the sprayer. How many acres we're doing, acres per hour. As you can see here, hopefully, uh, my tank system uh, is counting down. As I said, it's not really calibrated yet, so I'm just going to uh, kind of go with it. Uh, and it'll help me out along the way. I'm not going to rely on it 100 percent. And as I said, we'll get it calibrated uh, up uh, when we get more into spraying the uh, pesticides. So I'm just going to hammer away at this and uh, see how many acres we can get off uh, before rain tomorrow. They're talking actually a fair bit, like 15 mils. I hope that uh, they decide to change the weather forecast but it looks like we might be out uh, chance of snow on the weekend so uh, we'll get done what we can and uh, we'll go go with that and uh, I'll fire up the drone here uh, shortly probably and uh, hopefully get some pretty cool shots uh, with the sprayer so anyways we'll keep at it
got a little story to tell you. Uh, I have this friend, let's call him, I don't know, Mark. And uh, he decided he was going to do 28 today on his weed. And uh, he bought a new drone, I don't know, say three weeks ago. And he's been flying it and, and feeling pretty good. Maybe a little too good. And uh, let's say he decided to try to take some really cool action shots uh, with the drone while he was putting 28 out wheat. Uh, and then let's just say that maybe he lost connection with it and uh, decided to do its own thing. And uh, he finally found it after looking for about 45 minutes. So yeah, pretty silly friend Mark. Yeah, not the smartest guy. No, I hope he learned his lesson. Pretty sure he did. Well, seems to be the story of her life. Got the big field done, I'm just sitting here trying to do a small one. As you can see, it's not uh, 28 application weather nor was it really wheat shipping weather this morning when we loaded the first truck of wheat uh, in the drizzly rain you can see that uh, we got lots of water um, inch and a quarter last night still drizzling uh, forecast next week looks like garbage with the weather the way it is now and that rain that we got, uh, 28 is done for probably a week. Uh, that's a quick snap shot of uh, 28 going on weed here. Uh, we got maybe a third of it on. Uh, we're still sitting on the bubble on 109 acres of wheat. This weather forecast is probably the nail in the coffin on it. We do subscribe to two satellite uh, imaging services, uh, Farmer's Edge. Uh, and also we do have some of the stuff with field view so i get those updates so i'm going to kind of look at those maps for those fields but i also might put our drone up and, and take a look at the weed and see where it's at and save what we can uh, but probably take out what we can't there's no point having a really uh, crappy crop uh, margins are tight enough that uh, we can't risk that so we'll keep what we think we can save to meet uh, all their contract obligations with the forward selling that we did on wheat and go from there but uh any questions fire them down in the comments i'll try to answer them for you hope you enjoyed that i'm gonna work on my drone skills and try to get a better job uh, of some of the video there um, i do want to get some pretty cool shots with the uh, planner and the alari cart system so uh, maybe that's what i'll work on this week uh, is trying to brush up my skills we'll say and thanks and uh stay safe Thank <laughs> you.